So the big PS5 UI update causing controversy and Sony speeding up development of their big titles with new tech. Those are the stories we're going to cover today. And if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it. And as always, it's very much appreciated. First, yes or no, are you getting PlayStation 5 exclusive title Silent Hill 2 Remake or not? The game drops next week. I'm hyped to play it myself, but that's just me. What about you? So comment below, yes or no, if you're getting Silent Hill 2 Remake or not. Let me know down in the comments below. Now diving into the first story of the video, big PS5 UI update. Reading from PlayStation Lifestyle, September's 2024 major PlayStation 5 system software update introduced an annoying change to ads, which has stirred some controversy as the issue has gradually become quite prominent. Over the weekend, a viral thread pointed out that the game tiles on PlayStation 5's main dashboard are now clogged with ads, which smack us in the face when hovering over them. We initially dis dismissed the viral thread because the examples the user provided of ads running in the background of a game tile were specifically marked as game news by Sony and appeared to be relevant to the games selected. However, others have since tested out the change by checking various game tiles and have found quite a lot of unwanted content running in the background disguised as news. MP First pointed out that Horizon Zero Dawn's game tile displays an ad for pre-ordering late Lego Horizon Adventures and what's more is that that ad is crafted in such a way that it looks like a user is playing Lego Horizon Adventures instead of Horizon Zero Dawn. Now this isn't true because Lego Horizon Adventures has yet to be released but going forward this will get confusing. Another example that has been highlighted and which I can confirm is that Spider-Man 2's game tile now slaps us with a developer video where there was once a visually pleasing background image of Peter and Miles as seen on the game's cover. I wouldn't call this an ad, but it's certainly an eyesore. For those who have yet to receive the Welcome Hub, do note that the feature comes with the ability to turn off ads in the hub. However, Sony neglected to mention was that it'll run content of its choice in the background of every game tile with no way to opt out or turn it off unless you take the PlayStation 5 completely offline. So this to me is kind of crazy. I'm still in Japan so I don't have access to my PlayStation 5 and my remote play is buggy at this specific hotel I'm at because it worked at a previous hotel so I can't look into this myself and honestly I don't even know if I have the welcome hub yet either <laughs> that they mentioned in the article. This in itself might not be a full-blown ad as we know it but it's ads for stuff related to the game. Full screen in your face. This shouldn't be forced on users if I want to see the dev blog for Spider-Man 2, I'll go watch that on YouTube. I don't need to see it advertised in full screen where a simple image for the game I'm playing used to be. If I want LEGO Horizon Adventures, I'll look into it myself. I don't need to see a full-blown image of it as the background for Horizon Zero Dawn. It's funny to me that we now know that Sony could do live wallpapers no problem across the entire UI, but they chose to just limit it to the welcome hub because they wanted to do this that's how it feels they wanted to do this feed you news for each game without a choice to turn it off the only way to turn off these quote-unquote ads based off the articles i'm reading here is to disconnect from the internet which is ridiculous in itself sony needs to give us the option to turn these off and if you're enjoying the video so far hit that subscribe button and join our growing community on our way to 150,000 subscribers And now diving into the second story of the video, Sony speeding up development of their big games. Reading from Insider Gaming, in a new Sony corporate report, Sony has revealed that PlayStation will use AI and machine learning to speed up its game development. On page 16 of the report, Sony said that bolstering technologies that can help creators engage in maximizing the value of their IP in efficient, high-quality ways, including sensing and capturing, as well as real-time 3D processing, AI and machine learning and that these technologies will help to deliver its IP rapidly 
and at a low cost to a broader range of fans. The report reveals that PlayStation used machine learning in the production of Marvel Spider-Man 2 by applying voice recognition software in certain languages. This process allowed the company to automatically synchronize subtitles with each character's lines to significantly shorten the subtitling process. AI and machine learning have been a hot topic in the industry in recent years around plagiarism, creativity, and the cause of redundancies and with PlayStation getting more on board with its possibilities, those conversations are surely set to continue. So the thing Sony is referring to here is speeding up redundant work to efficiently develop their games. They're not talking about generating games using random art off the internet, which I guess some people think this is what they're doing. People both make fun of AI and also think AI is so advanced that it can generate games right off bat. Some stuff we've seen is stuff like generating assets off existing assets to speed up map development. I would assume this is similar to what we saw from the Unreal Engine 5 demo when they were extending the map over there. So stuff like that. These sound like tools to help speed up various aspects of development to make it easier on the developer to iterate and get what they want at a faster rate rate i'm for this if it gets the games out quicker year after year we're noticing games are taking longer and longer to make ghost of yote for example comes out in 2025 that's five years since the first game came out so that could mean the next ghost game might not come out until 2030 no one wants to, no one wants to wait 15 years to play an entire trilogy of any franchise wolverine as another example was revealed in 2021 and is potentially set to come out next year, making its development cycle also around the five-year mark as well. Spider-Man 3 is set to come out in 2028, another five-year development time for a game, obviously, since Spider-Man 2 came out last year in 2023. So if these tools help make developers' lives easier and allows us, the fans, to get more games, I'm obviously for that. Let's get these games out sooner and let me play them on my PlayStation 5 Pro, which is nearly just a month away from launch, and we're not waiting until the next generation of consoles to play some of these titles. But you guys let me know if you're up for AI usage if it helps us get games faster or not, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. As it always helps, subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is the body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comment section with more games, more bananas. This is another one of these goofy ones. We do them once in a blue moon, but it's always fun when we do them. And obviously, we definitely want more games. And, you know, who doesn't like bananas? You guys have made that clear on the last time we did this that a lot of you like bananas is like myself so if you're excited for more games and if you like bananas destroy the comment section with more games more bananas and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays at the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one